Hopesters. It's uh, 11.30. We've got some friends coming by. By the way, it's good to be back. We took a really nice break over the Christmas holiday, so that's why you didn't see any Christmas videos from us, unless you were a Patreon supporter and then we shared a really awesome video of Dominic singing We Wish You a Merry Christmas on there. Worth it if you're a Patreon. Uh, if you're a Patreon, definitely comment below what you, what you thought of that. We've got some friends coming by. I think if you've been watching for a while, you know that Lena and her parents, Jay and Aaron and Julia, their, their newest, they're stopping by for lunch uh, as they are in town for Christmas, I guess. Now, they live in St. Louis now, but my jerk pork recipe. Who are you calling a jerk? <laughs> if you, if you, uh, mom, do you like this jerk pork recipe? Oh, so good. Right? So if you're, if you want to check it out, it is, wait, is it here? No, it's here. <laughs> it's one of those two sides. Would you Click say that. it's one of your staple recipes? Somebody's asking, what are your two oh. recipes? Yeah, that's definitely a go-to. Typically, I do it as a sandwiches, but I switched it up because of the whole bread thing. It's just, so got some rice going in there, and then I'm gonna add the coconut to it. Anyway, if you wanna check that recipe out, you can check the link right there. And, uh, oh, and doing some black beans. I gotta get them, I gotta get them open and put on the stove. But they're gonna be here in like, I don't know, 30 minutes. We're cleaning house, not just because they're here, but my family is coming to do our Christmas tomorrow. They're gonna, be let's see we've got my brother and his family my sister and her family and my mom and then we're gonna have Brody for a few days after that but yeah we're pretty excited so tomorrow ought to be an awesome video with uh, the family here having a good time and <sighs> today is just lunch and cleaning and hello we got any other plans today Perfect. Day to visit and chill, and once maybe if we can get all the cleaning done really fast, then we'll have more time to catch a movie. Movie, Beat Saber, you know, whatever. But I don't think the cleaning's gonna happen really fast. We well, have to like clean everything out of our room. It's like the only room I don't clean when people come over, and now I have to. It's okay though. So we're giving our room to my brother and his wife as we tend to stay up late, but my brother and his wife actually have like a 9 a.m. flight the next day to Vegas. It's upstairs and you don't hear as much noise when you're in there. And that way we can party on downstairs. She's coming back like on the second and then, but he's there like through the fifth for work. So we'll have Brody for the week. Uh, and then the weight room. Oh, well, I'll just show you. What am I doing talking about it up here? Oh yeah, Alicia's here. And Hudson is just chilling <laughs> out down there on the floor. So the, like I said, the guest room, right off the like big hangout and party room, but then in here we have the extra full size bed that we keep in storage. It's the in the weight room, but that's where, that's where mom's gonna sleep. And Casey and I are gonna sleep in that one. And my Daddy. sister and her husband said they would take the couch. So, I mean, they want to take the couch, take the couch. I mean, really, the house is pretty picked up. We had a bit of a disaster down here after after a few nights of Casey's family being so here and playing so cards crazy. and having fun, and that's just going to happen again when my family gets here. But it's for the most part, it's pretty clean. And on top of that, we all we have to do is like make the guest bed because we're going to be sleeping in that room. We could just like throw all of our, we just bring all the junk out of our room, put it in that room. <laughs> <laughs> then another thing to share, well, darn, she was awake when we got down here and she's just dozing off. Hudson here has been doing really, really good this week. It's been, well, it's been a week, right? We turned it on last Friday, and so today being Friday, it's been a week of, of, the, of her having the VNS. I want to say it was Monday before we saw... Uh, seizure now uh, let's see on Saturday we saw one flash and it was gone like that quick and then on Sunday I think we saw it twice where she flashed and then it was gone and then Monday she had a few and 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 Tuesday so Christmas Eve and Christmas and we had to use this and this is a magnet and we have two of these so one of them is actually clipped on the seatbelt of her wheelchair 
just so you know, Alicia, that's where it is. When she, and, and then this one we're keeping on the bookshelf behind her chair for if it's needed. But you just take this and you swipe it past where the device is and it sends extra signals if she's having a, a bigger seizure. So uh, we actually used this a few times on Monday and Tuesday and it worked. And then this week, uh, let's see, I think I used it Wednesday also, but I don't think I've used it Thursday. And of course today being Friday, um, I, I haven't used it. Yeah, we haven't, haven't seen anything happen. So it's, it's amazing. Hudson got a second Big Mac switch from Grandma and Grandpa, so now she has a red and a green one, so we can give her choices. And uh, it's a, a little more sure than just asking her to look left or right, and she, uh, she's she been rocking it. Yeah, well, like I told you yesterday, Dominic said, Hudson, do you love your nurse? And we had those, and she pushed yes, and we're like, yay, she loves me! <laughs> it was pretty cute. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he's been doing that with her a whole bunch. So she's got him in front of her, and, and he's like, Hudson, do you love me? And she just keeps hitting yes. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, jump forward. They're here, yay! Kids are over here getting their, getting their food on. Hey, did you try the rice? It's super good. The rice is super good. You gonna try it? Can you give me a bagel spoon? No, that's the perfect size spoon for you. I'm going to eat some of my mouth. Bye bye. Bye. Zoom. How good is that rice, huh? Okay. You might want to try the rice. It sure is delicious. <laughs> so the food's all, all done. Got some avocado on there. And the jerk pork and the coconut rice and the beans, you know. So, like I said, check it out in that episode. This episode, it's over here. It's on that side. I'm not sure. But go back, check that out if you want to know how, what's in that recipe. And then, of course, I made the old great value <laughs> mac and cheese. And mac and cheese is a staple. They're here. <laughs> All right, we got our first shipment of calendars in for anyone who goes to and joins our Patreon before the end of January. The first pack of those has shown up for the amount of patrons that we have currently. So those are the current Patreons that will be going out. If you join before the end of January, you will also get one of those. Uh, I still need to clean our table up. Our, our friends have already headed out the door. They're like headed to see more family. They were here for about four hours. And so I've got a little like kitchen cleaning up to do over there. And you see, see the mop right there? Eh, spilled milk. Somebody started to cry. We said, get that tear back in your eye. <laughs> Uh, Casey's downstairs keeping Dominic occupied. I'm trying to get on top of this mess because we've got to get the bedroom all cleaned up, you know, like I said. But we've been wrapping presents in here, so i got to get that table, like, pulled out and just, you know, all the stuff cleaned up and the bathroom all pristine. It's got to look really good for them. Anyway, uh, we have plenty of time. We have plenty of time. I mean, they don't get here till 2 o'clock tomorrow. What is it? It's like 4.30, 5 o'clock tonight. <laughs> Let me get on that. We're playing Beat Saber. That's what they're doing downstairs. And I'm very tempted to do that now and then do that later. Should I procrastinate? Maybe. <laughs> warping, warping forward. Bed is not made. And everything over here, pillars that, pillars? Pillows <laughs> that go on the bed. But everything in here, it's, it's so crazy because we've had stuff. Like, look, there were things sitting there. You can see the spot in the in the carpet. Looking good, looking clean. Uh, we've actually, we, we haven't even been up here for probably an hour. Still got a little laundry and uh, some wrapping paper stuff that I've got to put away in the closet downstairs and get that table yanked out of here. Kitchen, look at that. Almost all the dishes done. When I say almost, we really just have this crock pot, but Whenever I cook something in the crock pot, I put water in it and then I run it on high for at least 12 hours, if not a full day, and everything on the sides just falls off and you can just zoom, you can just wipe it off with a towel. Why is your bowl not empty? Monkey man. I'm wondering what that thing is. So this is gonna sound weird, but, but he- I'm wondering what that brown stuff is. It's grandma's Mexican chicken. 
You love it. It's taco chicken. Hey, is it delicious? What? Is that delicious? Yeah. Yeah. It, those headphones he got from Grandma and Grandpa, and he got two sets. And they're really nice sets, so hopefully he won't break those. By the way, uh, it's going to sound weird, but Casey's allergic to it. I don't like it, so we don't really keep it in the house. But he tried cauliflower for the first time tonight, and uh, he's not a fan either. <laughs> we tried. And he crushed a bunch of carrots. Tomorrow, before they get here, I've got some sweeping and mopping to do. Uh, so I think we're going to hang out for the rest because, I mean, the house is looking really good. We just have to make that bed. And uh, like I said, not a lot happened today. We had some friends visit and we were just cleaning. Casey and I are sleeping in the guest room tonight. We figured out that it would be better for us to just sleep here tonight and tomorrow and that way we don't have to like wake up in the morning and wash our sheets as soon as we get up so the sheets get washed tonight the bed gets made so we're just Casey and I are like it's like a staycation or a camp out <laughs> so I think we're gonna close the vlog out for the night Hudson has been having a great day haven't you Shugs? you've been having such a good time I tell you what, we were at like an average of eight to 12 seizures a day. I would say in the last week, we have averaged one to two seizures a day. That, that being said, on Monday and Tuesday, like Monday, I think she had five, seven seizures. And on Tuesday, she had three or four. And then you average that out for the week. like. I think the VNS is working. She had a she had two today that we used the magnet for. Like this VNS, I think could be the fix. Hudson Ann, what do you think of your new VNS, huh? Yeah, you're just kind of indifferent. She's a little tired tonight, but I'm. <laughs> oh, wowzers! Okay, and also it's like it's not a big deal when we give her the swipe. And it has actually, in our opinion, shut the seizure down within 30 seconds of it happening. So pretty happy with that. The only like kind of strange thing is that for the next minute or two after swiping it, she kind of sounds like a, a high-pitched Chewbacca. <laughs> right? You get your little Chewbacca sound, don't you? And, and it's because the electrical pulses are coming up the VNS nerve, which is really close to her voice box, and it uh, affects her voice. And she doesn't always vocalize when we do it, but, I mean, the seizure happens, and often after a seizure, she'll, she'll make some vocalizations. But it's just kind of funny. The vocalizations are... They have this, like, vibrato to them. She, uh, she was awake a whole lot of the night, and slept a lot of the morning, and now she's uh, snoozy again. So, all right, baby. Are you ready to sign this out before you take a nap? Yeah, maybe. Okay. All right, babe. Remember, to the world, you may be one person, but to one person, you may be the world. So go be somebody's world, guys, and we're going to see you. The next time we see you. <laughs> I love you.